Samir Uchi with you from Motrox TV. Today, we're testing one of the most amazing American supercars. But before I tell you what it is, I have a question for you. What do you think was the highest selling American car in 2021, in the beginning of 2021? Highest than selling than any other truck, any other SUV, any other saloon cars or sports car? I'll give you a clue. have here is the 2021 Corvette C8. This is a 2LT. C8 being it's the 8th edition. Obviously the look looks different but the obvious difference about the, the C8 versus the previous uh, models is the fact that the engine is no longer here. It is here. Mid-engine. This obviously makes the car have more control, gives it a little bit more power, stability and definitely Corvette did the right thing by placing their engine in the middle. Obviously the body is different and it's really stunning. I mean, it just, uh, you know, it has these, it just puts everything, dips down into the center and points forward. It has a beautiful, beautiful frontage. It's not low, it still is high, which is excellent, especially for a supercar. When it comes to the back, exactly the same thing as the front. If you see over here, it just all dips down all the way to the middle. Gives it that amazing aerodynamic feel, stunning body works. I love the dual exhausts. I love how everything is positioned. I don't want to say this in a negative way, but it doesn't look Corvette-y, which is good and bad. It's bad because Corvettes are beautiful looking car. It's also good because it also gave it that, you know, put it on a different caliber altogether. I love these um, air ducts because the engine is in the middle now, so the air has to go in, cool it, and then come out of here. Really stunning. And if you see it convertible, it's even more stunning. This car has a 6.2 naturally aspirated V8 engine, LT2. Extremely powerful engine. This gives out about 500 horsepower and about 460, 470 torque per pound, making it very versatile, very powerful, very, very fast. And it's naturally aspirated, which is definitely a plus. And this is made possible with the eight-speak Tremec dual-clutch automatic transmission. That transmission with this engine gives you some serious power and serious control. When it comes to space, this car has plenty. It has two storage area. And this is despite the fact that it's mid-engine and even more so that it's a convertible. Usually convertibles, they take up all the space in the back. This one doesn't. Sure, it's not the largest, you know, luggage compartment, but nevertheless, it's a luggage compartment. That's impressive. And if this is not enough, there's one in the front too, or as they call it, frunk. Again, we're not saying that it's huge. We're just saying that they have one, it's there. As we said in America, comfort is the number one thing for them, it's even higher than luxury. And when it comes to comfort, they've put a lot of thought into this car. Whether it's this luggage space, whether it's the seating, whether it's the ride of the car, I mean, they really ticked off all those necessities when it comes to comfort. And this is all done despite the fact that it's a supercar. This car has many secrets, it has these, these like, unique places that no, most people don't know, most owners don't know. For example, the trunk or the frunk. You can open it with the remote and you can open it from inside. But assuming that you don't have the remote and you can't get into the car, there's a secret button right underneath here. Same thing with the back. You can't get into the car. In the trunk, there's a button. It's right here under the letter E. You just press it and it opens up. Another secret thing about this car that most people don't know is the charging. This car has a charging pad right here to charge your phone, but it also has a 12 volt plug right underneath the glove compartment. I mean, you really have to squeeze in there to see it.
I love the sound of the car. I love the sound of the exhaust. It's so American. Even the sound of the exhaust can be customized and configured according to what you want it to be. There's, I mean, certain three settings, but there's also a setting where you can go on the ECU and literally choose the sound of the exhaust that you want it, like a volume of a radio. When it comes to American cars, and even though they say luxury, I mean, I don't want to, you know, name names, but the most luxurious American brand, still when you sit in it, it's plastic and it's hard plastic and the leather that they say it is is not really that kind of leather that you'd expect in a luxury car. With this car, it's completely different. This car is luxury and exotic and very, very fast. Some might say too fast. And even though you can control pretty much everything from the infotainment system, um, including the air conditioning, they still have the manual controls over here. And they've done it and displayed it in a very, very classy way. I mean, it's there, it's right in front of you, very accessible. And you don't have to press different buttons to get different modes. It, literally every mode has its own button, makes it easier to control, but very elegantly and out of the way. Uh, it's not something that's you know ruining the look of the actual dashboard. Actually very, very cleverly positioned. I can honestly say that there's no car that I've seen that is designed in this particular way. This is unique. Corvette has successfully designed a unique car from the inside and from the outside. So everything about this car is designed uh, with the uh, track in mind. I mean, they wanted a track car, basically a road and track car, and they, and they got it, they succeeded. The car has three different driving modes. It actually has four, not three, but the three preset ones, which is tour, sport, and track. Obviously track is for the track, sport is for just a firmer, sportier ride, and then tour is just a more comfortable day-to-day uh, -day driving mode. There's also a custom one, which basically you can literally configure every part of this car and have your own customized version of what the car should be like. Again, another cool feature. When it came to the air conditioning, they found out that when the car is being driven on the circuit in heavy form, that the AC is not that capable of keeping the passengers cool while the car is being on the circuit. Most people will think, yeah, so big deal, so what? It's a circuit car, it's not supposed to have an AC. Well, the Americans are different. When it comes to the Americans, they, luxury is important, but comfort is actually above luxury in America. And they wanted comfort. So they had to redesign the whole air condition system to make an air condition that is compatible, if not superly impressive, even while racing on the circuit. And I have to say, it's a really good AC system. So there are not many uh, convertibles that have a hardtop. This is extremely useful for us here in the Middle East because of the heat. Now granted, uh, if you have a car like this, you're gonna be parking it inside the garage, so regardless of what type of material your roof is, but still, uh, while you're driving out, while you're parking the car out, having a hardtop is definitely a plus. I know a lot of people that actually, when they're looking for convertibles, they're looking for hardtop convertibles, not soft convertibles. So I think Chevrolet, more specifically Corvette, heard what people want and gave them what they want. And it's super impressive when you open it and close it. Let's see that. This particular model is the full option model. Uh, we were lucky to get our hands on one of these cars. Uh, because we still don't have them here in Bahrain. The actual owner of this car had to import it himself. And I think he did an amazing job of choosing 
everything for this car. I mean, it really has everything. Beautiful color combination, all the features, overhead display, convertible. I mean, it really does have everything. Bose stereo system, digital gauge. You have an eight inch touchscreen infotainment system, a digital uh, rear view mirror all to make that experience even more amazing. Corvette wanted to go for that luxury market segment. I mean, it is a luxury market segment car, but they were trying to target, or they have been trying to target the European market segment. And with this particular model, they achieved that. Hands down, they achieved it, especially with the price. I mean, the Corvette is priced much cheaper than the European cars for the same features and drivability and, and experience. The price of the car is around $65,000. Now it's a little bit more or a little bit less depending on the type of um, accessories and finishing that you want. Uh, this is a convertible, so this is more on the probably $70,000 range if not more. But in general, even with those prices, for what you're getting is just pretty impressive. Um, if you're looking at any Lambo or any Porsche or any Ferraris, of the same shape and the same caliber and the same capabilities, you're talking at least $200,000 plus. So this is a third of the price. And that's what the Americans are trying to do. They're trying to compete when it comes to the price. So what have we learned from trying out this beautiful, stunning car? Well, three things. First of all, this car looks like an exotic supercar and it's priced just like a sports car, not something that's completely outrageous. And it's designed to be a daily use like just any other normal car. Three things. No wonder this car was one of the fastest selling sports cars in North America in 2021. I'm gonna go for another spin in this car. See you later.